Now, oh, we've seen a big political moment in Poland today with the nationalist government losing power. It was short of an overall majority at the general election and the parliament has now voted down the proposed new cabinet. That has opened the way for a coalition led by the former president of the European Council, Donald Tusk, to take over. Well, our correspondent Sarah Rainsford is in Warsaw with the latest. I'm standing outside a cinema rather than the parliament where we were this morning because there's been a big crowd here uh, in uh, this cinema following proceedings from parliament. The population here are so engaged in this political process at the moment. There's been huge demand on YouTube for people watching uh, sessions of the Polish parliament for the past couple of weeks. And today uh, they opened the cinema halls too. They took the parliament to the big screen. So there was a big crowd in there watching, extremely engaged with the process too. Now, what was that process? The process was a vote of confidence in a cabinet which was proposed by the ruling Law and Justice Party, the party, the right-wing party, populist party that has ruled Poland for the last eight years. But they didn't have a majority in uh, Parliament. They basically had no hope of getting a vote of confidence, and yet they kept this going for as long as possible. They were not willing uh, to relinquish power easily. But that has now happened. The vote of confidence has gone against them. 266 deputies voted against this cabinet, 190, all of the governing party, uh, peace party, uh, voted for it. So that's the end. Eight years of, of law and justice government are over, and now it's over to Donald Tusk, uh, the former head of the European Council, uh, to try to get his coalition government approved by Parliament, which will happen tomorrow. And in terms of direction of what Donald Tusk is offering, promising Poland, just take me through that, because it is going to be very different uh, if it, it, it can't actually be delivered. Yeah, I mean, the opposition went into this election two months ago now uh, promising major change. They had one big slogan, which was that democracy itself was in danger. And they pointed to several key things, but primary amongst all of them was the rule of law, the independence of the courts here. And that's something that the EU itself has got big concerns about. Uh, they talk about the politicization of the courts. Uh, they talk about uh, various judicial reforms which have really affected the independence of uh, the judges here. And that's led to the EU holding back billions of euros of money that Poland needs. So one of the big promises from Donald Tusk has been that he will release those funds. He will uh, unravel those reforms of the judiciary. He'll return their independence and he'll get that money. But it isn't going to be that easy. Uh, the process of reform has been extremely long, extremely deep, very complicated. I don't think it's going to be that easy at all. There are other things on the agenda, uh, changing the public media, which has become a mouthpiece uh, for the government. Also, fundamental stuff. He's got to get a budget approved uh, before the end of January. That's going to be a big task and all of it made harder because the outgoing uh, government has held on uh, to the absolute maximum end of its possible term in office. So it's going to be a tough deal and also the president has a power of veto on any changes that a new government will make and that president is, is loyal still to the outgoing Law and Justice Party. So potentially a big change for Poland. Certainly that's what voters uh, for, for uh, the opposition wanted. Uh, now I think is the crux moment and if the audience here in the cinema are anything to judge by, they're going to be watching extremely closely uh, to see what a new government will do. That was Sarah Rainsford in Warsaw.